you like from what you saw and what, what was that, that game like for you guys down the sideline? Um, you know, I'm proud of our guys. I, I'm proud of the way, you know, the first half especially went, uh, you know, when you design things and want it to go a certain way. Um, thought we did a great job of uh, management, <clears throat> managing the clock and, and making things going. I, I don't have the first half stats with me anymore, but again, for holistically for the day, our third down conversions, I thought we were excellent in the first half. And again, we were able to mix some things together and uh, keep that explosive offense of theirs off the field. And, uh, you know, again, uh, in mixing things up and, um, yeah, again, the sidelines were exciting. Um, our guys played with confidence and it, it grew throughout. Um, but at the same time, we didn't make enough plays down the stretch in the fourth quarter. And, uh, but uh, definitely a lot to build on here today. And, uh, late in the game, Mo, you had that kind of strange fourth down conversion where uh, the quarterback took the ball from the running back. What, what did you see? In yeah, I thought we, you know, we we made a stop. I don't know completely if forward progress had been had been stopped, but he kind of bounced back, and as it was going, um, it, it not even really handed. I think the quarterback just kind of took it away from him, and and uh, which is a very heady play from there. They said it since it happened behind the line of scrimmage, it's a legal play. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the explanation I had. Um, I didn't know if it was considered a pass or a handoff. So I asked if there was men downfield, but they said it was uh, a handoff. So that was, you know, and I, and once they made the decision, they, they, were, they were clear on their, exp at least on the explanation that they had at that time. You do spoke often about, you know, not being interested in, in moral victories, but um, when you guys are competitive with a team that's as good as Oklahoma, but maybe what can that do for you guys at this point of the season? Oh, yes. I, no doubt that there's things in, in again, for us and where, where things had been the last few weeks and the margin of defeat and things like that, it, um, it really shows a lot about our young men and our assistant coaches, in my estimation, is that uh, that they've continued to work and work hard and accept coaching, and our players have continued to work hard to get better. And, um, and, and we talked about opportunity and what a great opportunity it was for us to, to play um, a team like Oklahoma today. Um, early kickoff, um, you know, not as big a crowd as maybe they're used to playing in front of. We thought a lot of those things could stack into our favor and for us to, to seize that moment. And again, we did. Um, as, I, as I said to the team afterwards, um, yeah, we're not going to be satisfied with just playing people like this close. We, we're, we got a taste of it. There's a lot of disappointed guys. And we've got to find a way then to make those extra two or three plays that uh, make that a, a really uh, – Celebratory uh, locker room. Hey Lance, I was wondering if you could just talk about the defense for a long time there. I mean, they weren't just running up and down the field. Yeah, I, again, um, John, I, I, I go back to I, it's a holistic thing, and it always will be for us. Is is I think, like I said, I think they had 19 plays. I don't know how many yards they had the first half, but 54 plays for the game. So that's kind of where. You know, we needed a little more in the second half, but again, we, we did a good job moving the ball, working clock, um, and, and doing those things so that, again, and again, we did get some stops and some plays that we were able. Um, we showed a couple of things that uh, enabled, like, <clears throat> for Kyron Johnson to make a big play in the first series and really help us build on momentum. And, yeah, a lot, lot of positive things there that uh, we will uh, definitely build upon. Lance, you guys got a pretty, another good group of recruits on hand today. What do you hope they saw from the team? Well, again, the progress, progress and opportunity, okay? And, and that's what we talked about. And, and uh, you know, pregame when, when I had a chance to address them is the opportunity that we all have, uh, players and coaches, to be here at the University of Kansas and what it does and the progress that we'll continue to work to make. And uh, I appreciate them staying and, uh, and, and witnessing today's game. And um, hopefully, if they're 
in a competitive nature that they want to be be part of something special here that we're going to build. What do you think you learned about your team today? We're very resilient, okay, and uh, you know that we're going to compete and they're working to get better and there's progress being made and uh, we got to continue to work on on things for us to be able to pull pull games like this out in the fourth quarter. But we've talked about it a long time about getting games into the fourth quarter and finding a way to win. We 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 did one of the two, and uh, again, uh, I'm proud of them in that capacity because a lot of people can uh, become awful selfish and worry about their own stats or their own playing time. And I was really happy with the way. Uh, our guys on the sidelines were into it, and uh, and, and they're seeing progress um, from each other. Hey, Lance, on that play you talked about, the Caleb Williams one, um, the running back was close to doing stuff, maybe close to having this forward progress stop. Uh, and then when do you feel like you guys were off with a chance to, to go down and potentially win that game? I'm not going to comment on that right now. Um, I, Like I said, those are, those are tough calls. Um, on progress and that, um, I'd have to take a take another look at it. But uh, um, as you know, I'm I'm pretty. Uh, um, what I want to say, enthusiastic with officials throughout a game. But at that same time, I understand that the calls and the explanations were made. Um, you know, we just got to find ways to make plays. All right, thanks everyone. Thank you.